According to Payscale.com, the compensation for a biosystems engineer may range from about 50000 to around 150000 per year. What's up everybody? Welcome to day 23 of my 90 day challenge where for 90 days I'm highlighting a college major telling you what it's about, what courses to expect in college and what are some of the career paths you can get into with these degrees. Today we're talking about biosystems engineering so let's get started. Biosystems engineering, or it's also referred to as agricultural engineering, it's actually an interdisciplinary field that focuses on the design, development, and implementation of systems in solving a problem in agriculture or biology. A good example of this is the conversion of biomass or like animal waste into biofuels. Or in the food industry, it's designing systems that make sure that the food that we eat is free of pathogens. One of the cool technologies that are a direct application of biosystems engineering now is the use of hydroponics. Uh, what is hydroponics? Hydroponics is a type of horticulture where you grow plants without using soil. So you could use other types of media. There are different types of media that are used in hydroponic systems. For example, you could use rock wool, cubes, lightweight expanded clay, coconut fiber or coconut chips, perlite, vermiculite or rocks. If you're interested in learning more about hydroponics, the different types of hydroponic systems, the materials that are used, I will leave those links in the description for you to check out after this video. Despite the highly debated pros and cons of using hydroponics, this system provides food to places that, or places or regions that have adverse weather temperatures such as deserts, places where the soil is not rich enough to maintain the growth of certain plants, and regions with insufficient water. In fact, in Kenya, Miriam Kaburu, who is one of my best friends, she just graduated from Michigan State with a degree in biosystems engineering, and she's using the knowledge that she gained from her major to educate farmers on sustainable farming methods. And she and her team are actually providing farming solutions to the people in their community. So big up to Miriam and her team at Mimea. The application of biosystems engineering is endless, which is skyrocketing the demand for biosystem engineers. In fact, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the employment of bioengineers and biomedical engineers is projected to grow 5% from 2019 to 2029. This is faster than the average growth rate for all occupations, which is about 3 to 4%. Looking at 2020, the median pay for biosystems engineers in the US was about 92,000 per year, which is actually much higher than the national average of all income which is about 78,000 with 92,000 a year it that translates to about 44 US dollars an hour according to payscale.com the compensation for a biosystems engineer may range from about 50,000 to around 150,000 per year and this all depends on the education level and the experience that you have loving what you're hearing so far let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and let's look at courses to expect when earning a degree in biosystems engineering. Courses for the biosystems engineering major are in the physics, biology, and chemistry. So you will take classes like organic chemistry, cell biology, molecular biology, organismal biology, microbial systems engineering, introduction to fluid mechanics, fluid mass transfer in biosystems, and thermodynamics. Specific courses in biosystems include engineering analysis in biosystems, engineering properties of biological materials, and biosystems design and techniques. Depending on the school and the program that you're in, you can choose to concentrate in a particular field. So for example, at MSU or Michigan State, you can concentrate in biomedical engineering, bioenergy engineering, ecosystems engineering, and food science. For a full list of courses to expect in this major and the concentration, specifically at Michigan State, I will leave a link in the description. Still with me? Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment in the comment section. Are you done? Perfect, let's continue. So what are some of the career paths you can get into with this degree? The most obvious career path with a degree in biosystems engineering is becoming a biosystems engineer. And depending on the concentration or the field that you're interested in, you can work in food manufacturing industry or environmental consulting farms or in the agriculture and biotechnology industry or even work for government agencies such as the Department of Agriculture as a biosystems engineer. However, apart from industry, you can go into grad school and work towards becoming a research scientist in biosystems engineering 
or work towards becoming an academic professor. If you're getting value from this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And in the comment section, let me know what major you want featured in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about college majors, careers, and undergrad research tips, consider subscribing, especially if you're a Michigan State University student because I use MSU resources as examples in all my videos. Check out this video to learn something new today, and I will see you all tomorrow as we discuss material science and engineering. Jackie Fi out. I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you Baby up with a slow motion crew And we up in the clouds when people change